Hello there. So we are going to continue with OneDrive plugin. So now we'll try the move and copy functionality. So here's an icon called move to. So this is a word file. So if we click on the move to button, then we'll select the folder and we click on move here. Now we'll check. So as you can see, it's missing from here now. So it must be gone to the new folder. Yeah. So it is moved here. Now we'll uh, go to the my files again and And we'll copy this folder to the new folder again. This is the copy functionality. Now I'll copy this folder to new folder. So we'll check. So instead of uh, like apart from move to this is a copy functionality. So we are copying this folder to the new folder. So this will still remain here. Just a replica of this folder will be made in the new folder. So yeah, here you can see the folder is copied in the new folder. So now we'll check what's happening in the background. So now this is the move an item action. So it needs drive ID then the item id which can be folder or a file id so here there are two drive ids shown so this indicates that the first drive id is for uh, locating the file the original location of the file and the second drive id is to know where the file is going to move or cop or be copied if it's uh, gonna be copied or moved in the same drive then you can give the same values to both the fields then new parent folder id this means that you when uh, when wherever you are copying or moving the file to you can put that parent folder id then comes the copy so this is the copy workflow so here it asks for the same drive id then item id then access token and the drive id again and the parent folder id so apart from this there is also one field called name and name value so here in the first parameter you have to give the same value as name and in the second you have to give the value of the name of the fo uh, file or folder that you are going to give so in move functionality we are directly moving that folder without any changes but in copy you can give a separate name for the replica that you are moving to so here that value should be given here but if you don't want to give any values, if you don't want to give, do any changes to that file, like the name, then you can give, uh, you have to give both of these fields empty. Because if you give this, if you put this as a name, it will, it will expect the name of the file. And if this is empty, then it will give you an error. So make sure to empty both of them if you don't want to change anything. 